חזק ברוך, קהל קדוש, בוקר אור. חודש טוב, מסכן נזי דף ל' עמוד א', 30A, 1. says the Gemara, we are talking about right now, that when a person was going to be in the reshut of his father, you remember the entire concept of the story of Rabbi Hanina, that he went and his father made him into a nazid, and then what happened was, Rabbi Hanina was going to check if he was going to have two pubic hairs or not. Because that meant whether he was actually a child or a gadol. So he went and he said, no, 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 don't worry about it. You don't have to check me. Why? Because even if it is that I was going to be a child, so then my father did it for me. And if my father did not do it for me, so I do it for myself. And then he went and he said, no, no, for sure, this person is going to be a Moreo Rabbi Israel. And then we went and we said that I understand that he says, so therefore he comes and he says, if he says, if he's going to be a Katarani, so then it's going to be for the father. And if he's going to be a Gadolani, he's going to be for himself. But according to Rebbe, that he says that you need two pubic hairs, Vim Gadolani me. So he says, if it's going to be, he has to say that if he's going to be a Gadol, it's going to be for himself. So he says, <laughs> He's already in the shoot of his father. So it doesn't help. So it answers the Gemara, Ela de amare hebi shulapa hebi What does that mean? He didn't say, Im Gadolani. He cannot say the words that if I'm a Gadol. Okay? So he says, Im bishvil abu, that my father could do it for me. And then he says, so then I'm going to become an Azir because my father. And if my father cannot do it for me, so then I'm going to do it for my own. Okay, I'll throw my own net. Fine. Says the Gemara, If right now he already brought two pubic hairs, which means if the time that the father already made the nether for the son, right, he has two pubic hairs. So therefore he says, So then he's going to be because of his own nazirut, because he's already a gadol, he's got two pubic hairs. Ulvasov, right? And even if he had it, right? If even if the katan had it during the time when the father was making it, that it was chala the nazirut, and he didn't bring the two se'arot until the end of the nazirut, meaning the beginning of the nazirut, he did not have any two pubic hairs. Within those 30 days of the nazirut, he grew two pubic hairs. So he says, So then he's going to be in the nazirut of the father. So what happens now if it's going to be in the middle? What's going to happen? So he comes and he says, right? What's going to be the halacha? So he says, This understanding makes sense. If a person is going to come and is going to say that it's going to get to the time of the Onan Nedarim. But according to Rebbe, that he says, Until he's going to bring two se'arot. Michael, what are you going to say now? Amar, Amru, Amre, they said, Rebbe, You're right. According to Rebbe, there's no takana for Rebbe Hanina until he's going to have to do nezirut also for himself and also for his father. Right. Meaning he's going to have to do nezirut of 60 days. 30 days for his father and 30 days for himself. Yeah. Right? Why? Because again of the way that we just mentioned that since right now he has to do the nezirut of himself and Miman of Shach, he also has to bring the korbanot of the fa- Meaning he's going to have to do two of them because if right now we don't know or he brought it in the middle Right, that means he became two pubic cares in the middle. So now one second, does he have to do it because of his father or does he have to do it because of himself? So now if you're going to tell me now that he has to do it both because it's in the middle of the 30 days, it's not, the, it's not like it was at the beginning or then. If it was at the beginning, it's very simple. If it was at the beginning that he already had two pubic cares, everybody agrees that it's only for him. The father has no jurisdiction over it. If it's going to be at the end, so then for sure it was going to be from the father. But if it's in the middle, you don't know whose it is. Is it because of the father or the son? So I have to do 60 days. That's what he says. Leka takanta, there's no takana, unless you're going to do 60 days, and that's exactly what a person has to do. Okay? Which one? Yes, because of the sefek. Here's the Mishnah, Lamin Amud Aleph, 38. It says the Mishnah. Ha'ish megaleach al nezirut avim. What does that mean? A person could come, and he could bring the korbanot, when he finishes the nezirut, from the money that the father separated for the Nazirut, and then he died. So for example, a person's father made himself into a Nazir, and then he died before bringing the Korbanot. So that money could be used for the son's Korbanot, meaning the son comes and he accepts upon himself Nazir. When he finishes his Nazirut, he could use the money that his father also did use for the Nazirut, but he didn't actually use it because he died before actually bringing it. He could use that money in order to bring the Korbanot of Nazirut. All of them? All the Korbanot? Everything. Everything. Okay? Yes. The father had money. Huh? No, the Chidush is that it's not his money. It's his father's money. He died. 
Exactly. So when the father dies and he already had money for korbanot, a person's son could use the, that money for the exact concept of the korbanot, for the exact nezirut. Not for anything else. Not for anything else. Just for the nezirut. Okay, just for the nezirut. But a woman cannot do that. Meaning a woman's father passes away. Right? And let's say also she gets inheritance. And so she cannot use the father's money of the nezirut for her own nezirut. Okay? The Gemara is going to explain why. The Gemara is going to explain why. Okay? Then the Mishnah adds on. Keitzad. What's the case? Nishaya hu ve'aviv nezirim. Imagine both of them are nezirim. You have a person and his father. They both became nazirs together. Right? They both saw sota together. They both, whatever the case was, they both became nazirim together. Be'frish ma'ot stumim. Now the father comes and he separates money. Remember, ma'ot stumim. Satum means he doesn't designate which one is for which korban. He just says, okay, fine, more or less, it's going to cost me for the korbanot and everything. A thousand dollars, here's a thousand dollars. This is going to be for his nezirut. And then what happens? Umet, he dies. Right? So now what happens? Amar Biyose says, Biyose, remember we skip out the brackets. The round brackets we skip out with the square ones we read. So he says, Amar Biyose says, Biyose, Harelo yiplun in nedava. Says Biyose, you have to put it, you have to use the money as a nedava. Meaning the son cannot use this money. It goes as a nedava. Right? She'en ze megaleach al nezirut aviv. Because he cannot be megaleach on the nezirut of his father. Right now, why? The reason why here is because they were both obligated in the Korbanot. They were both Nazirim at the same time. And therefore, since they were both Nazirim at the same time, the son cannot use the money of the father because he was already a Nazir. So then what's the case then that you could use the money of the father then? Only if the father was a Nazir. Right? And then what happens was, and he died. And then the son says, I'm going to become a Nazir on condition that I'm going to use my father's money. He's allowed to use his father's money and to be Megaleach al Nazirut Aviv. Which means, if at the same time they were both Nazirim, so then you cannot come and use the money of the father because you had to use your own money anyway. And your father was using his own money. Mm-hmm. So for now, even though the father passes away, and now technically that money... Why can't you use it? No, because you were already obligated in it. However, though, if you were not obligated in Nazirut, meaning you weren't a Nazir, and then the father passes away, and now the son comes and he makes himself into a Nazir, now he could come and he could use the money of Nazirut Aviv. Now the Gemara is going to ask, right, as follows. My Tama, what is the reason why a person could use the money of the father, right? In mm-hmm. other Chiyuv Korbanot, a person cannot be with the korban of his father. Meaning, what's the difference between nezirut and any other korban? Imagine right now the father had to bring a khatat, right? And he passes away. Can the son bring a khatat for his own sin with the money of the father? No. No. Right? A khatat shemit it goes to, the, to die. Right? Meaning that why is it something special by nezirut that you could do this? Why? Amar Rabbi Yochanan says Rabbi Yochanan, Alachai ben nezir. Right, once you say Alakal Moshemi Sinai, there's nothing more to talk about. That's it. We have a tradition from Moses, our master, right? From Moshe Rabenu, and that's it. Okay. So says the Gemara. Well, then we said that a woman cannot be uh, cannot use the father's korbanot for nezirut avia. So says the Gemara. Pshita, it's obvious. Umay lemimra. Right. What are you going to tell me now? The ben yoreshet aviv but no. Are your chadish is your chidush that only a boy inherits and not a girl? Right? Why? What are we talking about? The Lele Laba. When is he only has a girl? If he has a daughter, she's obviously the one that's going to inherit. You're right. When there's boys, only boys inherit. And not girls. Right? But if there's only girls, the girls do inherit. Okay? So therefore, a person has to has to pay attention to that. Okay? So says the Gimara. Yeah? If you're going to tell me now that it's because the son is going to inherit another daughter... But he says there's only girls. So Maud the Tema, I would have thought that say your shin gimidana, that the Lakala Moshe Misina is only by a Yoresh, which means that any Nazi that he could use the money of the Nazirut of, of the one that's giving him the, the inheritance is only by, by Yerusha. Okay. Um, then he says, and even the daughter, because at the end of the day, right, she's going to be Yoresh Bimkom Shen Ben. So he comes and he says, Kamash Malan, Lamed Abu Bet, 30B. Kamashmalan comes to teach you halachal Moshe Misinai. That yes, on Amubet, right? So halachal Moshe Misinai is davka that the son is going to do it, 
And it's not because of the halacha of Yuresh, which is only in a ben. It's just halacha of Moshe Mitzinai that it's on the son, not on the daughter. So daughter cannot use the money of her father in order for the nazirut, but the son can. Says the Gemara, Ibai lehu. So now we're going to ask the following question: Does the rabbis argue on Rabbi Yose or not? Meaning, do the Chachamim argue or not? You're going to tell me that they do argue a reisha or a seifa. Are they arguing on the reisha or the seifa? Now remember, one more time. On the Mishnah, the Mishnah just said somebody that him and his father were nazirim, you cannot use it. It has to go to a nadeva. If he became a nazir after the father passed away and he left the money, then he can. So now the question is, we don't know anybody else. Meaning that it's only Rabbi Yosef in the Mishnah. Do the rabbis argue on that or not? That's the question. Okay? And if they do argue, do they argue on the Reisha, on the Seifa? So Tashamar, we're going to try to bring a proof. We said, one second, how does a person come Megaleach on the Nazirut of his father? Nazir, if the father was a Nazir, and now he came and he separated, right, money for his Nazirut, and then he died. And now he says, So the son takes upon himself Nazirut on condition that he could use the father's money. So but if they were both Nazirim, so basically this Braita is like the Mishnah, but just inverse, right? You just flip the cases. These are the words of Rabbi Yoseh. No, this is the explanation of a person to be Mautaviv. So it comes out that even though in our Mishnah we only had Rabbi Yoseh, and we didn't have any other, other opinion. We wanted to find out, was there another opinion or not? <clears throat> this Braita says there was another opinion. What was the other opinion? Rabbi Eliezer, Rabbi Mir, Rabbi Uda, they say that in the Reisha of our Mishnah, remember, it was the Seifa of the Braita, but it was the Reisha of the Mishnah. In the first case of the Mishnah, the former case of the Mishnah, where the Mishnah says they were both Nizirim, father and son. And then the father separates Mount Stumim for Korbanot. And then the father dies. Aye. The son could come and use the money for his own kurbanot. That is the shita of Rabbi Yezer, Rabbi Mi'in, Rabbi Yuda. Right? According to Rabbi Yoseno, and that was our Mishnah. Fine. So now says the Gemara, by Rabbi, Rabbi comes and he asks the following question. Yesh lo banim nezirim. If a person, sorry, yesh lo shne banim nezirim. If a person has two boys that are nezirim, and he left out money, he left over the money, right? Ma'u wa salacha, which means, at the end of the day, one more time, he has two boys, they're both Nazirim, and he's a Nazir. He dies before bringing the Korban. So now he has money for a Korbanot. What happens now with the two boys? Because before, and it was only one boy. So that one boy could take the money of the father, and he could use it yeah. for his Nazirut. What do you do now with two boys? So, we have a Moshe Sinai, Kol de Kadim Megaleach, right? Do we say that anyway, the first one, which is taking the haircut, he's the one that comes and he uses the money. Or Dilma, or maybe it's like a Yerusha. So therefore just use half-half. Right. Meaning, do you split it because it's like a Yerusha? So any Yerusha, any type of, a, of an inheritance, you split it, the two boys, you split it into two. So half-half. Or do you say, it's the first one that comes. Which means the first one that comes, he has to take off his hair and he's going to uh, bring the Korban. He's the one that he could use the money of the father. Because and he came first. And, and the other one gets nothing. The other one gets nothing. Because it's not a Yerusha. One more time. Is it a Yerusha? If you say it's an inheritance, there's nothing what to do. Half, half. Chetzi, chetzi. Right? But if you're going to tell me it's not an inheritance and just the son has Allah al Moshe Misina that he could use the father's money, so I would say that whichever one comes first. He came first, he uses it, and then that's it. So by Rava, so we're going to try to get the answer. So Rava comes, and there's another doubt also. So even without answering this question, Rava now comes and he asks another question. The other one was Rabbah with a hey. Now it's Rava with an Aleph. So he says, Bechor Pashut Mai. What's Alakha if one of the boys is a Bechor and one of, the, one of the boys is a Pashut? We always know that a Bechor <inaudible> takes <inaudible> double. Yeah. How do you take double? You divide by three and you take two. Uh... <inaudible> right, you divide by three, okay. meaning that as if that there's going to be three children and then you give two portions to the, to the, to the boy. Okay. So that's what it is. Or if there's five children, so you divide it into six, right? And then the Bechor takes two portions. So it's not really exactly double. It's just that he's taking two it's portions. Two portions. Right? Two, like two kids. Exactly. It's like two portions. Yeah. It's not really double, right? Because if there's uh, 
you know, understand? Like if there's going to be 10 to five children, right? For him to take double, if they're going to get 200, he's going to get, uh, he's going to get, uh, you know, 800, what do you understand? No, it's not double. It's he's taking two portions, whatever the amount of the portions. Okay. So by Rava, Rava comes and he says, what about the whole Pachut, my what Salaha? He got a gamina. Do you say that it's a hot gamina? And the wa di kahlo by giluch lefu my dishakal. And therefore the behor cannot take the money, right? In order to come and to take this, right? Because this halacha was not brought down to do the behor taking double portions. Or do me yushahi. Or maybe it's going to be considered yirusha. The chayek dishaka bishem. And just like the yirusha, the behor takes double portion. Hachimi galeach. So too he's going to take double portion in the taking of the haircuts, right? In the korbanot and all these things. The intim solom yirusha. And if you're going to tell me that it is yirusha, Ufun de shakil megaleach. But do you say that it's also going to be that when a person has two children, each one is going to be megaleach half of the money, right? Just like a yirusha. Uve chuli nudit le pishnaim, but only he gets double portions in chuli. But beigdeh, she doesn't get double portion. Or dinu, or maybe given the kani le legiluach, since he already acquired it for to cut off his hair and to do the korbanot to the nezirut, lo shna. There's no difference, and therefore he would take double portion, even though it's keilu going to egdesh. So therefore we have like the two sides of the coin. What do we do? Okay. Now another suffix. So the, again, this was the second suffix. The first suffix was, do we say if a person has two boys, do we say it's Yerusha, that they split it up? Or do we say that it's Sinai, the first one that comes, the first one that he gets served, basically. Right? The second, that was the doubt of Rabbah. Doubt of Rava was, is that what happens now when you have a Bechor Pashut? So again, you do have the two children, but not only the two children. One's a Bechor, one's a Pashut. So if you tell me it's a Yerusha, so the Bechor takes two portions, right? And the Pashut takes one one portion. If you're going to tell me that one second, but even if you're going to tell me it's Bechor Pashut, but maybe B'met, it's like coaching. Hekdesh, right? He only takes two portions in Chulin, in mundane things, not in something which is going to go to the, the Bet Dash. And here it's not like that. Or do you say once the money was already segregated to become, to cut the hair and to bring the Korban on the Zil, you don't say that. Another Safek, Aviv Nazir Olam, Vehu Nazir Stam. Imagine the father is a Nazir Olam. Mm. That means he accepted upon himself Nazirut forever. The son is only a Nazir Stam for what? For 30 days. Okay? Vehu Nazir, right now he says, right, in, in or the opposite. Aviv is Nazir Stam. The father is a Nazir for Stam for 30 days. Mm -hmm. And he's going to be a Nazir for mm -hmm. a Nazir Olam. Mm -hmm. So my what Salacha? Ki gminin alihikata bestam Nazirut. When do we say the Salacha al-Moshe Misinai? Only in a Stam Nazirut. Of 30 <clears throat> days, and therefore, since the father is Nazir Ulam and he's a regular Nazir, or vice versa, he's the Nazir Ulam, the father is a regular Nazir, so therefore it does not help. Well, Dilmar, maybe Loshna, there's no difference between Nazir Ulam and Nazir Stam that the father, that the son could come and use the money of the Nazir of the father. The Intim, Solomon Hachana, if you're going to tell me, this is all to do with Nazir Tara. So, by Ravashi, Ravashi comes and he says, What about Aviv Nazir Tameh, Vu Nazir Tahor? Meaning, what happens if the father became Tameh in the middle of the Nazirut? So if he becomes Tameh in the middle of the Nazirut, he has to bring Korbanot. Now he is a Nazir Tahor, right? Or the vice versa. Vim Nazir Tahor, Vim Nazir Tameh. My, what's Salacha? Do you say in this case that the father, that the son could still use the Korbanot of the father? Because it's not really the same type of a Nazirut. The father, he separated his, his, uh, the money and everything for Nazirut Tameh. What does Nazirut Tameh mean? He became Tameh in the middle of the Nazirut. It wasn't a regular Nazirut that you finished the 30 days, everything was kosher, everything was good, and now he brings the Korbanot. Right, and that was that money. He became Tameh in the middle, or the opposite way around. Can the son use the money for the father or not? In all these cases, take we do not have an answer. We're waiting for Eliyahu Navi Zahulatov to come and to give us the answer. Amen. So that way we finish the fourth chapter. We will start the next chapter. Tomorrow, Perek Hamishi. Have a wonderful day.